For the first time, the name and image of an Adelaide teenager who shot dead another teen on New Year's Eve in 2012 can be broadcast. Liam Patrick Humbles was today sentenced to at least 24 years jail for the murder and for attempting to murder two other teens. He was a youth at the time of the shooting, but in an unusual move, the judge has lifted publication bans. James Hancock reports. Drunk and on drugs. Mate. Yeah. I'm from the CIB. Yeah, I understand. You understand you're under arrest? Yeah, I do. Right. Liam Patrick Humbles is arrested for shooting dead 18-year-old Lewis McPherson in 6th Avenue at Warradale. Humbles was just a week from turning 18. We believe that uh, you've caused an injury to someone with a firearm. Do you understand that? Yeah, I do. I'll let you know that's a serious mm -hmm. offence. No. Lewis McPherson had been on his way to a New Year's Eve party with two friends from Brighton Secondary School. Last November, Justice Michael David found Humbles guilty of murder and attempting to murder the other teenagers. Now 19, he's already spent about 14 months in a youth jail, but was today sentenced to a further 23 years in an adult prison. That's never enough, is it? I mean, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that, but it's certainly more than we expected. Being a youth at the time of the shooting, until now there's been a ban on broadcasting his name and image. But today Justice David lifted the suppression. I'm pretty much here for the night, everything. I'm not going to be going home or to sleep or anywhere, probably, tonight. Justice David said Humbles had shown no obvious signs of contrition, as he can't recall what happened, and had very little insight into the impact of his behaviour. Justice David said a most worrying aspect of the case was why and how Humbles had a loaded gun. He said it was appalling and frightening that any young person would feel the need to carry a weapon for protection. Humbles' mother let out a painful cry as the sentence was handed down. He'll be 42 when he's eligible for parole. James Hancock, ABC News, Adelaide.